Hey everybody, how's it going? Yeah? Tell me about that for a minute. I'd like to hear. Go ahead. That's really nice. That's good to hear. Okay. Well, now I'm going to do some talking. Um, so after our little, um, what would you call it? Drunken rant about not being able to find anything to read. <clears throat> I'm going to let you guess what happened. Yes, I found something to read. Um, I wasn't exactly sure, but it turns out that both books I read are by dead white guys. I tried. Um, but one of them is written by a dead white guy and the dead white guy's alive niece. So that kind of ticks some boxes, maybe. So... Um, since you probably already read the title of this, um, I read a book by Louis L'Amour, and I read a book by, um, William W. Johnstone, with J.I. Johnstone. Um, now the Johnstone books, I never would have read without Troy telling me, um, yeah, give those a go, they're pretty good. <clears throat> Um, and that's paraphrased. He probably said something different. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Which one should I start with? <clears throat> I'll start with, um, John Stone. So the John Stone book, um, was the second book in the Pearly Gates series. And I guess the third book comes out next week. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and then there's a fourth book slated to come out in January. Um, I was kind of bummed because I couldn't find the first one. Um, so I, I, and I, if you know me, I don't like going in half cocked. So um, it was about this kid whose name is Pearly, P E R L E Y. And, um, he's a quick draw, like everybody who's the hero of a Western book. But he's <clears throat> bringing back the family fortune from Deadwood to Texas, which, um, equates to about $13,000 of gold dust. And it's like a typical fashion, like, oh, this is a character. He meets this character. This character tries to destroy him. And then he manages out of it and moves on to the next little bit where someone else is going to try to kill him. And it was really weird because like half the book was all about people trying to get his gold. The second half of the book got really dark and turned into like this kid's parents were murdered and burned alive and now he's going to take the kid. What? <laughs> I've been up the whole time. I know. What are you doing? Like being dirty or no, something? No, it's just on Instagram. All right. Why are you hiding? Because <laughs> I just... She's like... <sighs> She's in an elevator. Um, but yeah, so the kid goes with him and he's like eight or something like that and the book like really is not about the gold anymore and now about um kind of getting revenge for this little kid which turns into like a feud between the triple g ranch where percy's from and the cobb family um, so it was really good. And it's so funny because along the same token of Edgar Rice Burroughs escape on Venus, how like every two seconds, somebody screws them over. And I was just like, come on. I don't know if it's just because they weren't on Venus and they were in the wild west, 
the exact same thing was happening, but it worked. Um, so I don't know. It was really good. It makes me want to go back and read the first one and makes me excited to pick up the third one coming out in about a week here. So that's really exciting. Um, the other book I read was called The Empty Land um, by Louis L'Amour. Um, I don't know if I like the title for the book. I almost feel like he was like selling titles to publishers saying, okay, um, they're like, what do you got? Well, the empty land. Hmm. That sounds mysterious. We'll take it. Um, and then he's like, crap, now I got to write a book about the empty land because, um, like, when you read it, you're like, dude, there's, like, 30 other titles that would have been awesome for this. But, um, this story starts off, like, thousands of years ago, um, and how this coyote chasing a squirrel, um, causes a bunch of events that domino into the deaths of 40 people. And the way... Louis L'Amour tells that it's very quick, precise, but it's like really deep. It's just, it, it was, it like hooked me like crazy. And, um, basically it's about this town that wasn't a town. It's a boom town. Um, and there's a little gold rush and everything. And these people, the three people who found, the claim or whatever, just trying to make a nice peaceful town to have. And so they end up calling the town confusion because like within a matter of hours, like once it got out that there was going to be a, a gold boom there or whatever, um, they were just sitting there and it was just them. And then it was like, like hundreds of people putting up tents, putting up building facades and all this other stuff. And it just went nuts overnight and nobody was ready for it. And the kind of hero, I, I guess he would still be considered a hero of the story. His name's um, Matt Calhoun. And when I was reading it, it felt like it was Louis L'Amour later in life. Like, just knowing that this is who he is, this is what he does, but kind of tired of it all. And I know there's been other characters in Louis L'Amour stories that feel that way. And then I went back and looked, and this book came out in 69, so it doesn't really fit. But this character was just so like cool and calm calmer than anybody not really wanting to have anything done but knew that he would do it and be good at it kind of thing um but yeah it was just it was really good and the way it ends it doesn't necessarily give you like a somber feeling but it kind of does because you know that, um, I, I don't want to spoil that for you. I mean, the book's like a million years old, so I don't know what kind of spoiling this would be. But basically, once the town gets fixed or whatever, they don't want him around anymore, really, because he is the memory of how shitty the town was. And even though he like nearly dies saving the town, he is completely at peace with the fact that he knows nobody wants him there. And it's just like really sad, but not sad. If that makes any sense. I don't know. It was really good. Um, so I just felt super awesome that I hit two 
good books after um, a couple books that weren't bad. They just didn't like knock me out kind of thing. So now I'm reading um, another John Stone book. It's a Flintlock book called um, Hell's Gate. And it's kind of, I wasn't expecting it to be, but it's kind of like a Western ghost story kind of thing. And it's really fun. And um, I just really, really dig that feel. Like, I, me and Zoe were talking about it, like, not even a week ago. That, like, I wasn't sure what kind of genre crossing you can do with Westerns and have it be acceptable and stuff like that. Um, so stumbling upon this is, like, awesome. So, um, that's that. Next item on the list is that, um, uh, I am wanting y'all to, yes, I said y'all, baby, I'm sorry. I know. Um, I want you guys to sign up for my mailing list and, um, I'm going to be talking a lot about, um, kind of like my process, my writing process, um, things going along, cover reveals, all that kind of stuff for, um, all the books that are going to be coming out here pretty soon. So down below, there'll be a link, um, to I hate And right at the top, there'll be, um, a sign up for the newsletter and I'm not going to like send you a ton of stuff. It'll be like maybe like once or twice a month. Um, but and then when there's a release, um, but it's mainly just to have a good relationship with everybody, like a good connection. So you could learn a little bit more about me and I could learn a little bit more about you. So if that intrigues you at all, um, in the description, there'll be a link. Um, and then other than that, I guess that is all. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.